unknown temp tag. Correction, Wyoming temp tag. William Young, 253-330 on a silver cord. Hey, good evening, man. I'm Danny with Frisco. The reason why I'm stopping is because your plates are expired. Yep, um, I unexpectedly had to move, so I had a change of address. Stand by and um, So I just don't have the address to go register to your account. I've been in uh, Brooklyn Ridge for a week. Okay, you got a, do you have a registration in insurance? Yeah, um, the title work is in there. Where are you headed to right now? Breckenridge. Okay. And where are you coming from? Uh, Snowmass. Snowmass? What was going on in Snowmass? I have my RV parked up there, and it's not running right now, and that's what I'm living out of right now, so... Okay. Went back there for my day off. Okay. You got insurance for the vehicle? Not yet. How long have you had the vehicle for? Um, since January. Oh, and... Just, just talk to you, man. What's the holdup? Lost my job. Um, I went up to Montana for this job, and they ended up paying me less than I was expecting, and then they fired me. And then okay. I, you know, just unexpected things have been happening. So. Has Has the vehicle ever been insured? Not since I've owned it. Okay. Um, I haven't had a paycheck in six weeks. Okay. So you know, I'm waiting on the first paycheck for my new job. Um, Everything is on hold until then. I, you know, I'm still okay. In the back seat of this car. Okay. And how, how much have you had to drink tonight, man? I, have, I haven't had anything to drink tonight. Okay. I'm just asking you. Okay. The guy who put these this tape on on my car asked the same questions. Okay. I, who put the tape on your car? Some cop who accused me of trafficking dangerous drugs and okay. claimed that he had probable cause for that, and then. Didn't find any evidence whatsoever of that. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna. It is far from the first time that. Okay. I'm not accusing you of trafficking dangerous drugs. Okay. Sorry, I, hey, no. listen. I'm, I'm asking you the routine questions I ask everybody on a traffic stop at night and even during the day. Okay. So you haven't had anything to drink? I have not had anything. Okay. To drink. Anything to smoke tonight, man? Okay. Any drugs or anything like that? Are you trafficking drugs? I'm not trafficking okay. Drugs. You're not trafficking drugs. The car has been very thoroughly searched. Okay. For okay. Listen. Hey. I'm, listen, I'm just pulling you over because you're a player right now. All right. I'm gonna, do you have any warrants or anything like that? I hope not. Okay. I hope not too. All right. All right. Just give me a minute. All right. I'm gonna come back and talk to you in a second. All right. Just hang tight. All right. All right.
Ten four. Negative. Alright, let me just ask you a few questions, okay, Max? Is the has the vehicle ever been registered? Okay, where does where is that plate coming from? It's coming from Wyoming. I was driving a Chevy Suburban and broke down halfway through Wyoming. I'm okay. Montana. Okay. And I borrow money from my family to purchase the cheapest car around to get the rest of the way to my job. So I bought this car. Okay. I and haven't had any money since. Then. All right. And what's your destination being for right now? Well, why were you coming down Marina right here? Going to for work. No. Well, I'm saying, why were you going straight at the traffic light? Breckenridge is that way. It's news to me. It's What's that? It's news to me. I thought I was going the right direction. Okay. So th there's a lot of things going going wrong right here right now, right? Okay. Just listen to me. I'm going to reason with you. All right? Look, just look at me for a second, all right? So we can talk, all right? Let's. Max, let's make some eye contact so we. I know I know that we're me. Give me the same respect I'm giving you, okay? Because I'm I'm going to do you a solid here. Okay. I'm What's that? I'm okay. I'm going to do you a solid here. Right. I'm going to ask you to not drive for the rest of the night for a few reasons, okay? I'm going to give you a warning, though. You hear me? Right? In the spirit of Easter, okay? Right. Your license is canceled, denied, all right? right? That's that's essentially a suspended license that you're driving on right now. Right. That would mean, right, and I'm not going to do it tonight, that means that I would have to take away your driver's license, right? You don't have insurance for the vehicle, and you're driving with fictitious plates on it as well. Right. Those are misdemeanor crimes. Those are three misdemeanors. Fictitious how? Fictitious because they don't belong to the vehicle. Right, that's what that's what Colorado deems them as, right? Knowing that it belongs to another vehicle and you put it on a vehicle that it doesn't belong to. Okay? Max. So what are you accusing me of exactly? I'm not accusing you of it. I know it. Knowing, right? knowing that it... Knowingly putting a plate that belongs to another vehicle on another vehicle. Mm -hmm. Right? Max. If you'd like to write me a ticket to that, yeah. Max, I just told you I'm not going to. Just look at me for a second, man. I'm trying to do you a solid, okay, dude? Right? Do you do you want a warning? What I want is to go about my business and go to my job in peace. And it seems like every every cop in the state of Colorado dedicated to making that impossible. I'm not doing that to you right now, am I? You're telling me not to drive the rest of the way to work. This is, cause this, Max, because this is what happens if I don't do that. Just listen to me, okay? This is what happens if I don't do that. Then I write you for the fictitious plates, I write you for driving without insurance, I write you for driving on a canceled denied license, and then I tow your vehicle. I don't want to tow your vehicle, right? You're already going through a pretty financial, hard, pretty hard hardship right now, right? And all of that has been caused by police harassment. And so, at the end of the day, that status that's on my license is going to get revoked like it was last time. Okay. And, and I a didn't... lot of cops are going to look really bad because the thing that it was revoked for was thrown out of four courts before I missed I a court date in the fifth one. Okay. So, if you think that's a valid thing and that I actually don't have a driver's license right now and you want to escalate this fucking can of worms even further and add another case to the pile of court dates that I've had for the last three years ever since one of you guys was off duty and decided to hit me on purpose from behind and another one of you guys decided that that was me driving recklessly. Max, that wasn't me. Do you do you hear what I'm telling you? Have you heard that, I'm, that I've told you that I'm going to give you a warning? Okay, you could take it graciously or I can give you a, a summons, right? Do you want a summons? Like I said, what I want is to go about my business in peace. That's it. I don't think that's a complicated thing to want. I don't think that's demanding. I don't think that makes me any kind of a criminal. I don't think there's any good reason why I have to show up in front of a judge every fucking month of my life and explain that I'm not a criminal. So if you want to put me in front of another judge, that doesn't make much difference because 
I've got infinity court dates forever anyway, because if it's not this, it's going to be something else, and you guys are going to find a reason. So, Max, I've never met you in my life. Right, and neither have any of the other cops who have been harassing me continuously for years. I came to this state eight years ago, and for the first three years I was here, you were all telling me, you were pulling me over, Ten telling four. me that my license is expired, it's fictitious, it's whatever the fuck it is, and then I show you the registration, and then you look at well, the you, sticker. You just told me that it belonged to a Suburban that you had. That is not what I told you. What did you and say? See, that's what happens every time, and that's why I don't want to talk to you. You misconstrue my what words. What did you tell me and, then? And turn it into me admitting to some fucking crime every goddamn time when that is not what I said. What did you say? Not that. Well, what did you tell me then? I told you that my car broke down and I bought this one. I didn't say a goddamn thing about taking plates off of one car and sticking them on another. I don't know why you think I would have temporary plates on my old car. Temporary Wyoming plates. So who do, where does that plate belong to? I got it from the dealership I bought the car from. Okay. Where else would I get a license? Let me see plate? your title then. You're the one that's ramping this up right now. Frisco 30, can I get a second? Frisco 30, can I get DMV confirmation?
Yeah. Max, I gotta talk to you. What's your phone number? What do you need my phone number for? For your summons. Do you need a phone number for that? Well, it helps the courts. I'm not gonna call you. Max. Max. Would you like to provide me with your phone number? No, thank you. Okay. Okay. Here, pay attention to me because I'm going to give you something. Do you understand why I don't want to keep on doing this on a regular basis? Why this is upsetting to me? Okay. Well, look over here because I'm trying to give you something now. All right. You're being issued a summons. Court date June 15th at the Summit County Justice Center in Breckenridge. All right. So driving with your license under restraint, cancel denied. No insurance and driving with fictitious license plates. All right. By, si by signing here, mm -hmm. you're not admitting guilt. You're stating that you'll show up to court on June 15th. You understand? I understand that you guys are routinely the most rude, presumptuous. These are, this is under, yeah. under presumption. This is under probable cause now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. I've never met you before in my life. I just tried to be nice to you. And you, you just tried to be nice to me. Is that why you started following me? Because you saw the long hair and, and you thought, hey, I'll go to be nice to that guy? No, I didn't see your long hair. Uh-huh. You just bored? You wanted to follow somebody? Do you think I'm profiling white people with long hair? I think you were sitting there by the side of the road waiting for something. That's part of being a cop. Yeah, is picking out people who look like they're poor, driving cheap cars, and saying, I'm going to go hit that guy because he doesn't have a lawyer. No, that's not why. I'm going to tell him I'm doing a favor. And I'm going to stick fucking spotlights in his face while I'm doing it. I'm going to stand over him with three guns and put my hands all over his Okay, body. Max, I need you to sign the summons. No, thank you. Okay, if you don't sign the summons, then I'll take you to jail. I do not have to sign the summons. You do have to sign a summons because it's a promise to go to court. I do not have to sign it. You I'm do. I'm obligated to go to court one way or another. I don't have to sign Wait, anything. Wait, signing a summons means that you're promising to go to court. It's not based on a promise. It it's is. It's based on a summons. Right, a summons is called a non-custodial arrest. Okay. And by you signing a summons, it means that you are stating that you will go to court. I'm the one ramping it up, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who's trying to send a message about my big ego here, right? I have no ego in this whole thing. Oh, no. No. You, you were offended. You weren't about to give me a warning. I was. And then you changed your mind because I broke another law while you were sitting here talking to me? No, because I knew it when we walked up. No, you changed your mind because no, I didn't. You, you didn't Listen, like Max, me. I'm not going to sit here and debate it with you. Oh, no. That's, that's what court's for. Right. So I need you to sign this here stating that you're going to show up to court. And that is under threat of arrest? Right. Oh, I'm, I'm not allowed to hold the piece of paper I'm required to sign? No, you're not. Oh, is that a threat to your life? It is. Right. See, now that's that's a threat to my life. I need to speak I'd to like you to give, my, my, give me my pen back. Supervisor. I need to speak to your supervisor. I'm going to keep my hands where you can see them until I speak to your supervisor. Max, give me my pen back. I need to speak to your supervisor because now I feel threatened because you're telling me that you your, your life is in danger from me and that is clearly not true and we know what cops mean when they say that. So I'm going to keep my hands up until I speak to your supervisor. Max, give me my pen back. I need back. to speak to your supervisor, please. Max. Supervisor. Max. Supervisor. I need to speak to your supervisor, please, officer. Supervisor, please, officer. Max. No, you put me in danger. I'm not putting my hands anywhere. Max. I am not moving my hands until I see your supervisor. Max. You said the magic words that give you permission to kill people. I need to speak to your supervisor. 
I never said I was going to kill anybody. I need to speak to your supervisor! Max. Supervisor. Max. What is your company, what is your department policy when somebody asks for a supervisor? We'll get one. Get one. Just now, me. get one. Max. I asked for a supervisor. Get a supervisor. Max, I'm not leaving here. I'm not putting my hands down. Okay. Supervisor. All right, Max, step no, out of the vehicle. You're, you're threatening my life. Step out of the vehicle. Supervisor. 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 Supervisor. I need to speak to your yeah. supervisor. Get out of the vehicle. Supervisor. All right. You're, you're being ridiculous, dude. No. Just you relax. Being ridiculous. Just relax. I'll get a supervisor on the line. Anyone, you threaten your life. You I need to speak to your supervisor. This is battery. I need to speak to your supervisor. You will get one, right? I asked your supervisor, instead of getting one, you put your hands on me and forcibly entered my vehicle. Get your fucking supervisor now! Max, you are way too escalated right now. You are escalated! I didn't put my hands on anyone, officer! Max. Get your supervisor! Let me call Tim. What's up? Max, stand up for Get your supervisor! Just put him on the push bumper. Fucking supervisor! Hang on a second. We'll get I'm one. I'm escalating, huh? You are. Oh, fuck you. Thank you. Get your supervisor. Now. They don't just that doesn't, nowhere. that doesn't mean escalate further. That doesn't mean put your hands on me. That doesn't mean bust your fucking gun out. That means bust your fucking phone out you are and detained get your right supervisor now. on the scene. Max, you're detained right now, okay? We're going to go get it. We're going to get someone for you, okay? Just hang on.
Yeah, he told me his vehicle got searched by some cop who thought he was trafficking drugs, but nothing happened on this BS, so. Plates on your bag, it's going to see. 